What's up, boys? Befriending the bots. My man Schultz, he coming through, talking about calling your play, play call screen, why do we use the formation, and setting your audibles. Absolutely great question. Remember, anything you want in Befriending the Bots series, leave it in the comments below, man. So I'm going to talk about it right now. Play call screen, audibles, everything you need to do at the line of scrimmage. Let's go, boys. We're at the play call screen right now, and this is what I see. This is what I go to. You see, most pros will use formation, uh, the concept, play type, personnel, all that stuff. A player, I don't, th th never you. I don't know. If you like it, if you're comfortable with it, go ahead, keep rocking with it. Uh, being comfortable is the most important thing, and being comfortable is why we only use a couple formations. Uh, you get to see different defenses with the same plays, the same offense, so you know where to go with the football when the time when the time comes. So. Most of the time, you'll see people call their plays out of formations because you can get to those money plays. You can get to your key formations, your key plays you want to use in certain situations uh, really quickly. And at, at some point in the year, uh, most Madden players are going to memorize exactly where their plays are. Uh, it's one thing about being comfortable in a playbook. Okay, if I go here and I go to gun, I'm going to call gun bunch, and I go up to, and then Y is flood. So people can do that really quick once they get... The, the muscle memory of calling their plays, man. So for me, that is why I use formation. You want to be able to get to your plays and get through them real quick. Also, uh, this never changes in your playbook. You know, maybe player might change if you use a different team or something like that. But for me, uh, it never changes. It's always the same with your playbook. So this is why we stay in here. And last year for me, it was Gun Bunch. There's a bunch of different plays in Gun Bunch, short plays, deep plays, run plays. So for me, it, it, it's always a, a safe bet to go with. Now, let's talk about audibles. Audibles are set now. If you guys remember, where are my old heads in the chat? We used to only have five audibles. You could audible to goal line. You could audible to five wide. Whatever you wanted. They changed that. The audible system has been a lot more advanced. And they have these base audibles pretty much for every formation. You can audible to every single formation within your formation or without, within your personnel group. So three wide receivers. You can go from bunch to trips, whatever it may be. But... Uh, this is how they're set up. If you pay attention to this and, and kind of keep this philosophy, this is a philosophy that I keep. And I don't really talk about this to any other man player. I don't talk what they do or what, why they do it, but this is kind of just was common sense to me. If you look at this, the set audibles, the stock audibles for every formation, you're going to have a spacing switch. The first one is always a short possession type pass play. Always. That's the first one. Um, the second one's always a run. Why on Xbox or triangle on PlayStation? Always a run. Every single formation is like this. Uh, LB is always a deep pass, verticals, something like that. Pretty much every formation is deep, four verticals deep down the field. So you got a short pass possession, a run, and then you have a deep pass. Then you have your play action. Now, I don't know how many play action plays are really good if you guys use them. I would tell you they're trash most of the time. Sometimes you use them to block blitzes. Sometimes um, they have better routes in them, so you'll keep it there. So for what I do, when I set my audibles, why is always a run? It is rare that I have four pass audibles because every once in a while you'll be stuck. You'll mess up a hot route. You're running out of time. You can just quick audible to a run, hopefully get some yards. So I always keep... Um, why as a run always now it might be a different run if you like inside zone if you like a one trap whatever it may be uh, you can keep that as a run the first one spacing switch that's a possession one I always put my best base play now like I said for bunch last year it was flood so I always make that my best base play a play I can run against every coverage a play I can get rid of the ball fast the play that's kind of a possession play and that's that was flood for me last year it's my safest pass play I can call it against every coverage I can quick snap it same concept if as the run man if I'm running out of time I can go ahead and hit audible and audible to flood and quick snap it so that's my safest play now you go verticals I'm putting my biggest play here just to keep that same philosophy verticals so I might I might keep verticals if I like that I might go with uh, bench pivot the deep tight end route from last year bunch trail a deep post route whatever play you like so let's go ahead let's put bunch trail for that deep post maybe we can bomb cover four cover two uh, so that gives me a, I can change that right there so I have my short pass play I have my run audible and I have a deep pass play the play action one is kind of your wild card it's kind of, it can change throughout a game. It can change throughout a week. Maybe this couple days you're feeling another play. Maybe you want to go with, with a different one. So for me, uh, let's put Z-Spot there. Uh, or, yeah, Z-Spot. 
Uh, any different play, we'll put Z spot there for that deep corner route. I like these. I like these plays. I can get to the line. Now here is the other rule, so to speak. The rule of calling offensive plays. Offensive plays is that you never want to come out in one of these plays. Now I do. I do break that rule often, man. If I'm feeling flood, if someone's running a lot of cover three, a lot of blitzing, I would still come out and flood, even though I have it in my audibles. But Say we get here, or we already set our audibles. Let's come out and bench pivot, right? We're doing offense only here. We'll come out and bench pivot. Now, because we came out in a play that's not in our audibles, we now have five plays at our disposal at the line of scrimmage in just this formation. You know, we can stay. We can go to flood. We can run the ball. We can go to bunch trail. We can go to Z spot, whatever it may be. And we still have bench pivot because we called that out of the huddle. So that's something that a lot of people do. So when you get to the line and you see your opponent's defense, you have five different options to go to. And like I said, if we go to another formation, whatever it may be, we still had that same philosophy where you have your short route. Even if I didn't set my audibles, we'll only set audibles for maybe one or two formations. You still have your short you still have your run, and you still have your deep pass. So that's why I like to kind of keep that philosophy when I'm setting my audible. So if I audible to another set, it's like muscle memory that Y is run, X is short pass, LB is deep pass, and that RB button is my wild card. So that's pretty much how uh, I set up my audibles, man. Different pros may be different. It, it's a preference thing, but I like to keep that philosophy. Short pass, run, deep pass. Those three have to be in my audibles at some point, and remember, Always come out in a play that's not necessarily in your audible, so that way you have five options when you get to the line of scrimmage. Like I said, my man Schultz came through with the suggestions, talking about audibles, talking about play call screen. If you guys have anything else, please leave it in the comments below. I will. There is no question too dumb. Listen, you guys know I yell at dumb questions, but this series, I will not. Any questions you guys have, feel free to put them in the comments. Like the video.